This is Russ Edgar, Avion Overlander, and I really appreciate you joining me. Uh, it's morning here when I'm making this video. Uh, there's a little uh, something I have to say before I make the video. S last year, Lynn and I were camping uh, in the West. We're out about 45 days, and a uh, wonderful time, actually. And uh, we noticed that we never, ever saw other avions, but we did see a lot of Airstreams. And a lot of Airstream people were extremely friendly and interacted with us. Came over, visited us, wanted to walk through the trailer, invited us to their trailer. Uh, it was a, a lovely thing, actually. But one fellow, uh, Airstream owner in uh, Colorado, we were staying at a uh, campground, uh, a state campground for about uh, uh, three day, three nights, I think it was. He pulled in after we'd been there for about a day or two and had a lovely Airstream, probably a 30 footer, looked like to me, reasonably new. Uh, one of the things that really set it off is he had a 100 foot string of white lights laying on the ground around it. And that really struck my eye since I came in and it was dark. Uh, and I saw his trailer lighted from the bottom. I really like that, but that's not this video. He was the nicest guy that it ever was. And he came over, looked at our camper because it was close enough to his that it was intriguing to him. And we started talking about his trailer after we talked about our trailer. And he had a lithium battery system in and he was explaining how nifty it was and how well it worked. However, that was a downfall for me because my wife heard all this and she said to me, we need lithium batteries. So that's what we did. Uh, if you've seen the other videos, you see that we pulled perfectly good batteries out that were uh, lead acids and... Uh, they're still operating in the truck, uh, 440 uh, amps out, and we replaced them with 400 amps of lithium, and uh, truthfully, we could not be happier. They have been wonderful. The picture, the video that I'm going to shoot right now is a video of a very simple location. It is under the passenger side bed of our Avion, a 1984, obviously. Uh, it is, I'll try to get everything in I can. The hose, their big hose there, three inch hose, goes to our um, diesel heater. You'll see, and I'll explain each of these items. Each battery, and they're on the left there, is a 100 amp battery, Battleborn. Uh, we've had them in, we bought them last Black Friday. So uh, the price was good. They're wired up with four aught cables, as you can see. We have bus bars that everything connects to. I'll pan down a little bit so you can see those. Positive and negative bus bars. Everything connects to that. Then you'll see here we have fuses coming in. Then we have a 60 amp solar controller. Slide back up. We have S. Yes, yes. Nobody, everybody says this is crazy talk, but we have two shunts one on top there one on the bottom they go to different meters that are mounted in the front of the avion and i will show you these before we finish the video and this is our compact 2000 watt inverter charger just to be honest no matter what these companies say they are they are not truly 2,000 watt, they tr actually 1,600 watt, but it is plenty big for our services. We can run the microwave, 
TV all night, everything you can imagine, uh, have no trouble. A lot of them like to sell you a 3,000 or more. A 2,000 works just fine for two campers in an old Avion. One of the things, if you so uh, do some, one of these systems like this, there's two things that uh, they don't tell you. Here is one of them. There is a dongle right there. You see it flashing. It controls by Bluetooth this item. Now, you don't need it. It's a hundred and some dollars. It was a little pricey, I thought. This has a switch, switches on it and lights, and you can operate it manually if you want to. However, for me, in our situation, my wife sleeps on top of that because I put a mattress back in here, and there's no way that I could go in and out taking care of things. So this dongle that I'm pointing to right there is a Bluetooth dongle. That means that I control this whole system on my phone. Makes it lovely. I can turn things on and off. Uh, all of them on and off, actually. The batteries, I can't. They're, on their, uh, they're not uh, responsive to about anything. Uh, they are safe against cold and things like that. But, uh, but the charger is in the, in the inverter is controlled by my phone, which makes it absolutely great. I'm going to show you something here, and then I'm going to reply to that person who is saying incredulously, uh, what the heck is that guy doing with all those switches? Well, in our case, we have 800, about 900 watts on the, the top of the Airstream, or on the top of the Avion, that we use to charge our solar. However, we have... Uh, let's see, about 500 and nearly 600 on top of the truck. And I have made it so that we can run a cable, and I have three 30-foot cables that we can run from the truck to the Avion. That's why the extra fuses. We can hook the truck to the Avion on the side door here under this bed so that we can have... Uh, let's see, what would that be? Uh, over a thousand watts. This is the Victron Energy uh, control, uh, meter in the front of the uh, coach. It's showing that the batteries are at 13.65. Uh, I'll slide over. Now, I don't know why this is show. There we go. This is showing, and this is a, a, a Bogart. Uh, meter that showing 13.6 pretty close it just doesn't show the next it would show exactly the same if it had another place for another digit but it is not it is only three and the bogart is four so they're showing the exact same battery condition I really appreciate you uh, joining me today. Uh, I hope that my uh, uh, system for the lithium batteries and the inverter uh, and the solar, uh, in a few days I'll take some pictures or do a video of the actual solar panels. Uh, but you get an idea. It's a very simple system. It's very compact, located under the passenger side bed in the Avion. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. If you have time, I would really appreciate it. Subscribe. Uh, our channel could use that. Uh, be safe out there and have fun.